Hey what's up guys, it's that kid Jake and today I want to talk about the Black Ops 2 World of Reveal trailer that just debuted yesterday. If you haven't seen it yet, you can go to the description and I'll have a few links that you can check out the actual video and also the official Call of Duty website to get all the information they have released so far. In this video I just want to talk about um, the trailer itself and what I think of of it so far. So just a quick brief summary of what we saw. We saw at first an old guy who was Frank Woods who was in the previous Black Ops talking pretty much the majority of the time while all this gameplay was coming on and we saw that it was really futuristic and it took me, uh, I was a little bit shocked because Treyarch has been known for making games in the past a lot and like Vietnam and World War II and World War stuff like that at that time area so I was a little bit shocked that they didn't do something older and uh, what I saw um, from this uh, trailer that it was in 2025 and as you can see um, they talked about how military technology has advanced and more things are being available and also how these terrorists can get a hold of these um, technology and like also hackers and pretty much uh, have a really crazy world war and I think they're calling this like World War 3 as well and uh, this is uh, going to be, uh, some people are really hesitant of it. I've seen, there's about 20,000 dislikes on this out of 60,000. And that's the lowest I've seen a Call of Duty reveal trailer. But uh, I've noticed something. Every Call of Duty has been the same for the most part. And everyone loves it and until it comes out. And once it comes out, we all hate on it. For this, I see that everyone buys it so because it's Call of Duty, but they see this is something new, this is something different, but it still has that authentic Call of Duty feel that we can still enjoy it and still not totally be, it's not like you're jumping to a game like Halo or something. So I think a lot of people, I think this game will do well, and I'm really happy that they're taking a risk here, mainly because Call of Duty's been the same for a long time, it's been losing a lot of its momentum, and I think Treyarch is really stepping up the game, I think this is where they uh, different, differentiate themselves from Infinity Ward, they take risks, they have a lot more history, and they take a lot more time, in my opinion, on just the little things, and that's why I think they're a better developer. And you can say that Infinity Ward, oh, they're, they're the ones that made Call of Duty, and yeah, but that's like me saying I was on the first basketball player, it doesn't mean I'm the best, there's, there's people better than me. So that's uh, really a, a dumb statement, just because you're first doesn't mean you are the best at it. So, Call of Duty Black Ops 2, I'm really excited. It takes place in the future, and in the trailer, you see a bunch of different um, uh, weapons and like uh, like helicopters and planes you can fly around and actually use those as weapons. And uh, obviously, they, we haven't seen anything about zombies, but I can see them developed in here and maybe change a little bit because it's pretty much the same. But uh, I can see maybe some differences. And, you know, I'm really, really excited for this game. And uh, the past couple of Call of Duties have been a big, major letdowns. And just really have been the same. It's not really as fun. And new people aren't coming to Call of Duty. More people are leaving than coming. So I really hope this game is exactly what I predict. And as all these rumors come along, I'll try to post some videos about some Call of Duty rumors and stuff like that. So that's all I really have to say about Black Ops 2. I, everyone that I know that doesn't normally like Call of Duty, they've been liking this game, mainly because it's different. And that's the key thing that Call of Duty, I think, needs to do. And I'm calling this the saver of Call of Duty. I predicted that Call of Duty would end pretty much, pretty soon, because if it kept on being the same and the same, except for changing the guns and weapons, but I think this could potentially save Call of Duty and the whole franchise. So, thanks for watching this quick video of what are your thoughts on the game, if you like it or not, or at least the trailer, that's how we've seen, we haven't seen the full game yet. So, thanks for watching this video guys, peace out.